Well, our next guest has been called Las Vegas's Wonder Woman of Cheese. And this morning, she's sharing some, sharing some cheese and wine pairings to enjoy this fall. Joining us now, wine and cheese expert, Diana Breyer. Hi, Diana, how are you? Hi, I'm great. Thanks so much for having me this morning. I'm already liking what I'm seeing, but before we get started, can you tell us about your certification from the American Cheese Society, something that only 45 people in the U.S. hold? That's correct. Yeah, I am a, what's known as a certified cheese sensory evaluator. So it's somebody who can basically taste a cheese and evaluate its flavor profiles. I can tell you where the animals were when they were, you know, being milked. I can tell you the flavor profiles of the cheeses. I can do basically evaluations based on all sort of the sensory elements of cheese. Um, and it is a certification given out by the American Cheese Society. Wow. That that so where 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 do these when you smell these things when you smell the cheese um yeah. <laughs> that's kind of sounded funny um where are they okay. where are they coming from like other than wisconsin so you know we've actually got a couple of cheeses here that are from one is domestic from yeah. georgia um, okay. and the other one is actually from france and when i eat these cheeses i can usually tell you what the milk type is um if the girls were in the milking barn or if they were out to pasture so i can tell if they're eating fresh grass or if they're eating dried hay um, and so we've got cheese from all over. It's not just Wisconsin, although there is great cheese that comes out of there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, b uh, before we talk about pairings, where do you go to get the certification? So this is an exam that's given at the American Cheese Society annual conference. So it is something that you have to, you have to do it once a year um, and you recertify every few years. But the conference is held annually. It switches from West Coast to East Coast. And it's actually just a big collaboration of cheese people. And there are two exams that are given, the Certified Cheese Sensory Evaluator exam and the Certified Cheese Professional exam, of which I am both. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, actually, if there was a reality show, I think I'd watch it. That's really interesting. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's talk cheese about pairings. A bunch of fun, a fun yeah, group. <laughs> does sound like it. All right, let's talk about some pairings that you have for us for this fall. Absolutely. Um, a lot of people for the fall think of very autumnal, seasonal sort of flavors. So you want to think about like bi baking spices and things that just make you feel a little bit more like warm and like sitting up and cozying up around a fire kind of situation. Um, a lot of people also don't drink a ton of red wine and a lot of people are very much red wine drinkers. So we wanted to do a white wine pairing and a red wine pairing. So for our white wine pairing, we actually chose a domestic table wine called Old Love. This is from Oregon and sees a lot of different sort of um, aging methods in it. So it's aged in stainless, it's aged in cement, it's aged in egg. It's really, really beautifully done. Um, and this one actually has beautiful flavor profiles of like some zesty sort of candied oranges that you might expect to see on like a fall spread with a little bit of grassiness and a little bit of like nice earthy minerality to it. And then we paired it actually with the Thomasville Tome, which is a raw cow's milk cheese that comes out of Georgia. It's aged oh. for about 60 days. Um, and it's got a beautiful buttery overtone, grassy undertone, nice flaky texture. And when you combine the two, it's almost as though you're eating a little bit of like one of those cream filled pastries that has a little bit of like a zesty candied citrus oh, note. Okay. Really beautiful for this pairing. Okay, now we're, we're running out of time. You gotta give us just a 15 second recap of the red. Real quick. Okay, the red is called Lost Poet. It's awesome. Um, Love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a red blend with lots of like little baking spice notes, and we paired it with a sheep's milk cheese from the Basque Country that gets a little bit of a bruleing on the exterior. Gives you sort of like a mashed potatoes kind of feel, and okay. paired together, they really just warm the soul. Okay, one in one word. What's the smelliest cheese in history, or whatever? Probably burger. What is Probably. it? Probably Limburger, I Limburger, would say. Limburger, yeah. I think we all knew that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Diana, that was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Um, and, and of course. Thanks good, for having me. Good luck me. with the endeavors there in the cheese and wine world. Uh, Thank <laughs> you so much. Over to you.